Uh, the course is called uh, Creative Nonfiction Graduate Workshop, and I think most of the time, uh, this is my first time teaching it, but I think most of the time it is simply uh, graduate students writing a variety of essays. But I knew that I wanted to do this class a little bit differently. Even before I had started thinking about the course exhibit initiative, I knew that I wanted them to uh, engage in a single subject. I knew I wanted them to think about a subject that was important to them that matter to them, something they were obsessed with. And then I wanted them to investigate it by writing a series of different kinds of essays, essays in different kinds of forms. So an essay that uh, unfolds as a list, an essay that unfolds as a glossary, uh, an essay that unfolds as a meditation, um, and a number of other things. The title of the exhibit, Arts and Crafts, um, on, the, on the one hand, it, it suggests a sort of primary engagement. Usually they work with pen and paper or um, the computer uh, and, or a typewriter or whatever it is they write with, and that's it. So they have words and paper. What happens when they have to arrange something on a table or choose artifacts or build something? I think asking them to do that um, makes them think about what they're making in, in different ways and how narrative can be uh, deployed and constructed and in many of the cases here how, how narrative is a shared experience. I mean it's always a shared experience but when Brian Matthews asked me to um, participate in the course exhibit initiative the thing I was excited about was the fact that I had control and power over 12 really smart, interesting, and talented uh, graduate students who didn't really have a choice whether they wanted to participate. If they wanted to take the class, they had to do it. And then I could force them to do things that they normally wouldn't do, which is like to work with physical uh, artifacts. And what would that mean? And what would that look like? And what could they possibly uh, make? I figured a great many of them would, would be perplexed and and uh, troubled by this, but I said, oh, you know, we have the whole semester, we can think about it, we can brainstorm. I just worked closely with them and um, we, you know, the, the projects themselves arose out of the subjects that they were investigating. There's several steps where you're part of the process and that's cool. The project came about uh, when Brian Matthews, who lives across the street from me, and I were, according to him, in his memory, it's we were picking up branches in our yards. I don't really remember that part, but we were, I do remember us being in our yards and him saying, hey, you need to use the 3D printer in your class. And I was like, that sounds crazy. I can, can you make paper <laughs> with a 3D printer? Because that's what I use. And, uh, but, but then he, um, he told me about the course exhibit initiative and he, he gave me some links to go check it out. And I thought it sounded really cool. And um, so he just basically threw down the gauntlet and said, do you want to do this? And I said, sure. I sent probably a thousand emails to, um, and my students sent multiple emails to every day saying, Scott, can we do this? Can we do that? And Scott would always be like, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, so it was really fun uh, and easy especially because the person that we were mainly collaborating with the library, Scott, um, said that all things were possible. And uh, that was really cool. I think my favorite part, uh, the two things are coming up with an idea or helping a student realize an idea. For instance, Amy had the idea for the snow globes. She wanted to make snow globes. And I think it was my idea that she should cut up poems and put them inside there. And then she did that, and that, and I thought the effect would be really cool, and it is. But that's partly because of the fact that her poems are so great, and her, the things that the lines that she chooses doesn't matter how they fall, um, they always create really interesting narratives. Yesterday, when we were putting this together, was also my favorite part because it was seeing things that had been evolving over the course of a semester actually taking material form and the ideas that you had um, being realized 
in a matter of an afternoon was pretty astounding and, and uh, I liked it a lot. One of the things that I'm really proud of uh, with this exhibit is that um, the students have not only produced good work um, and built interesting exhibits, but many of them are working uh, in areas that are extremely difficult to write about. Um, personal tragedies, addiction, issues with body image. Um, so I feel like a, a lot of these um, exhibits are representative of how, how brave and how, how much risk students are taking.